This video is about an interesting product called VeriSafe, which is used for detecting whenever there are hazardous voltages present, and also for detecting when voltages are absent, uh, so that you can establish a safe work environment for engineers who may be performing maintenance work in electrical installations. There is a US electrical safety in the workplace standard, and it has a fairly involved procedure for confirming that voltages are, are absent from all electrical phases before work can commence. This product is designed to automate the procedure by providing a permanently installed test indicator. Basically, the engineer can switch off the mains power and then press the test indicator to confirm that power has been removed. The system will check all phases, but it will also check itself and the wiring as well in case uh, some connection has worked itself loose. Although it's designed for the US, the product also has relevance in other countries where it can help provide confidence that a wiring closet or power distribution unit cabinet is powered down. In order to test the very safe system accurately, a three-phase power source is needed. A safe low voltage three-phase system is used which replicates the massive 50 or 60 hertz three-phase power grid but at a much friendlier size and voltage with no risk of injury. If you're interested to obtain this three-phase power simulator for yourself then the information to construct this is available at the URL shown. To perform the test, the three-phase system was turned on so that all three phases were live. The very safe system uses two wires for each phase, uh, basically for redundancy and also to perform its self-test. So when I press the button, the, the warning triangle flashes while performing the test and then it stays lit for five seconds. And then I see two flashes, which are a code. The value two means that our voltage has been detected. Ordinarily, three red bars should also be lit, one per phase, uh, in order to indicate that there is a hazardous voltage. But the three-phase simulator doesn't generate a hazardous level, but it is sufficient to allow the very safe tool to still identify that a voltage is present and that therefore the system is still energised and should not be worked on. So now if I unplug one of the phases and retest, I should still see that the system is unsafe because two phases are still energised. If I remove another phase, I see the same result. And finally, if I remove the last phase, the system determines that there is now no longer any power at all and that it is safe to work on. The self-checking capability can identify any single point of failure from what I can tell. As an example, if I reconnect all phases but shut off the power, then I will get the green light that the power is off as expected. But if I disconnect one of the wires in a pair and rerun the test, it flashes four times after the five second interval, warning that there is a connection error. The three phase tests provide confidence in how the very safe system worked and so after this I was ready to test it using a real main supply. I only have a single phase main supply at home but the product is designed to support single phase installations too. The white wire here is a neutral connection and it goes to the orange pair of wires connected to the very safe. The black wire is a live connection and it goes to the brown pair. This third pair of wires is connected to the earth pair and these would normally of course be connected to the mains supply earth. At the moment the power is switched off so if I press the test button I correctly see that the green indication uh, comes up which shows that the system is safe. Now if I turn the power on there are hazardous voltages present and the red indicators come on. The absence of red does not necessarily mean that there is no voltage. The only safe condition is when the green light comes on. And now if I press the test button, I'll see two flashes, 
to indicate that voltage has been detected and that power needs to be removed for everything to be safe. If I switch the power off, then all is good and the green indication comes on. In summary, the very safe product seems useful and it worked as expected and it also seems very well constructed. I hope this video was useful and if you're interested to learn more about VeriSafe, uh, then there's further information at the Element 14 website. Thanks for watching.